Uh, how does it feel to be a TEDx speaker? I mean, it's an absolute privilege. I wish I could have rehearsed a little more and could have perfected it, but uh, so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with it. It was a really good speech. Uh, I don't know what you could have made better in it. It was already really nice. Uh, you, your speech, uh, your speech did include what Stone Soup does, but in simple words, how would you like to summarize what Stone Soup does and what's your role in uh, the whole process? Sure. So I head strategy at Stone Soup, and um, Stone Soup is a creative solutions agency. So it it basically helps clients out with predominantly communication, but can go into the tech side of things with a website or an app as well. Um, but anything under the marketing spectrum is what we kind of work with. In terms of strategy, my, my job is to kind of understand what the client wants, take that to my creative team, and pull out the best version of the idea that's going to raise the odds of making it really effective. So bringing in a new perspective so that to attract new yeah. uh, customers. Uh, where did this idea, where, does this, where, do you, where did you get the inspiration to start this company? Was there an instance where you felt like this was needed? Um, so I always knew that I wanted to set up my own agency. And uh, in fact, I was at a crossroads once I quit my previous agency where I was going to go study. But I chose not to because one, I met my business partner who had already set up an agency called Social Cat, which is what we kind of rebranded and took forward to Stone Soup. Um, but I also knew the fact that in five years time, this would get harder. It's going to get harder every five years because um, the categories will get monopolized. Uh, platforms will get harder to navigate through. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like I was already late to the digital game, but uh, yeah, I'm happy that we started and, and set off. Absolutely. So if all the young viewers and the people who are just coming out from their undergrad or postgrad, who also want to start their own companies, what, what would be your advice to them? My advice would be, you know, there's going to be no time that's better than to start today. Like, do not get stuck in paralysis by analysis. You're going to think yourself in spirals, you're going to think yourself in circles, start, you're going to learn on the job more than you ever have and yeah, I mean, give it a shot, you've got nothing to lose, fall back on a day job at any point in your life, but definitely it's, it's worth the ride. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so how was your experience today? Did you enjoy? Absolutely. I, I just love the campus here. It's such a privilege to be here. Uh, I wish my school conducted <laughs> TED Talks, like that's... That's insane. Um, but I guess that's the privilege of being in Pune, right? Um, yeah, I think overall it was a great experience. And I'm going to check out the rest of the speakers online later today too. Thank you, Mr. Rahil. It was an amazing speech. Once again, thank you.